Hello, and uh, welcome. This video is going to be a uh, basically cleaning and uh, maintenance video for my uh, cameras and some of my equipment. So I've recorded a video like this a long, long, long time in the past, which I'll put a link down below. And um, I heard a few people sort of request that I do another one of these, and um, it's probably about time that I did it. Uh, most of my equipment doesn't need too much cleaning, but um, this camera that I'm recording with uh, first definitely needs probably a little bit of cleaning. Um, and uh, some of my lenses need a bit of cleaning because they get out and about. So um, I'll introduce you to some of the participants for this event. So the main participant for this event is this guy. So this is the camera that my videos are shot with now. So this one here hasn't really been out and about at all. Uh, it's just stayed here in this uh, studio. Um, but my other camera um, goes out and about and uh, it's treated much more roughly. So I wanted just to uh, clean it and just uh, clean this one. Um, old little, uh, like a GoPro camera, uh, some lenses, um, they're going to need to be cleaned, that one there is going to need some cleaning, and I've got a couple of other lenses which I'll go through cleaning, uh, so what I'll do is I'll bring it down a little bit closer, uh, I think that should be okay. So what I've got is I've got a, um, oh, first off, just to sort of break up the black. That's what I'll put this down. Just so to help you see some of the um, stuff. So I've got like a, a microfiber cloth, just dry, that I'll keep. I got like a microfiber cleaning cloth, so I've, I've moistened this one with water. Um, so I'm only ever going to use sort of water, like a damp cloth and uh, water. I won't use any cleaning agents at all on this type of stuff, just in case, you know, you might rub off some of the words or the lettering for a button. Um, and you definitely don't want to use it on like lenses or viewfinders because it could sort of fog them or mist them up. And I've got a dry microfiber cloth here um, just to wipe stuff down. I also have a nice soft brush. Um, clean some of the dust and I have a, a soft bristle used clean toothbrush to scrub off any mud or dirt that we might find. So, first off is going to be the big one. So primarily the cleaning of this one is just, mainly just to remove the dust off of it. Um, and because, you know, it's um, in good condition, you kind of want to keep it in good condition and just something as simple as just cleaning it just helps just maintain that that look of of um the new appearance so this comes with like a larger viewfinder which i've never put on which would be more suitable to use in an outdoor environment where the sun would be too Reflective, or you wouldn't see much on here, so you can put like a bigger viewfinder on here to see it. Um, so the camera itself is a Canon C100 Mark II. Um, I kind of wasn't really a big fan of the DSLR cameras, not because of the not because of the quality of the picture, but just the um, set up involved in shooting. 
So because my main focus is on audio, I don't want to have to spend too much time worrying about cameras, having cameras auto shut off. Um, you know, I really just want a camera that I can just turn on and just and start shooting it. Um, because my last camera was very much like that, and it was a very quick setup. Um, and so um, I wasn't really. I can't remember how I got interested in this camera, but it was a new camera coming out, and ah, oh, autofocus. It had autofocus on it because uh, you know, being a one-person shoot, um, you kind of want autofocus in most situations, to be honest. Um, and so. Yeah, I kind of checked the camera out, and I liked the, the picture quality from it. It has quite a high quality picture. Um, so there's uh, three cameras in this range. There's a, a C100, a C300, and a C500, and they, they all have the same chip inside that uh, records the video and this is uh, their cinema line of videos so um, you know, they're designed to record videos the was it fast and furious i think the most recent fast and furious a lot of the shots were shot on the bigger brother of this camera a c300 or c500 um, something like that and I uh, see another reason why I don't like DSLRs is the DSLR I'm recording this with right now just started flashing time like it's about to run out of something, like it's about to run out of a memory card. Um, so this, I may have to join some video up in a minute. So um, yeah, I have no idea what the camera's doing. I'm assuming it's about to run out of memory card space which is surprising because it should have plenty of space but anyway that's kind of why i got interested because i really like the the look of this camera um, it has a extremely good low light um, low light uh, video recording capabilities and um, i'm trying to get more into the low light recording for the asmr videos and um I think I've realized that I, I have to have a black background to kind of get that dark look. And I've been a little bit slack with not doing it. So I got a black fabric that I can hang up or I'm going to paint a wall black to be able to do it properly. Um, but I'll keep rambling on anyway. The, the, um, but yeah, the reason why I chose this camera is it, it's a... It's actually a video camera where its primary function is to record video. It's all it does. Um, I believe it can take photos, but who cares? It's a video camera. All I wanted was a video camera. Um, so I'll take the battery out. Um, yeah. And uh, it pretty much turns on and it's ready to shoot quite quickly. And you have the beauty of using Canon lenses with it. So if you have a Canon digital SLR, you can get lenses that are sort of interchangeable. And uh, so you can use them the same lenses on both cameras. So not that I had many lenses. Yeah, this is the cheap one of them. All right, so I'm going to use the dry microfiber cloth just to clean. There you go. I think you can see like some of the finger marks on there. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a clean. Uh, nice and clean. 
What's that reflection you're seeing? That's a light and a microphone stand. Um, and the other reason why I like this camera too is that it takes professional uh, microphone inputs um, and it has some nice sort of control and functionality over it. Um, also the batteries have a really, really, really good battery life. Hours and hours and hours. Um, and so I've got two batteries, so I can pretty much shoot all day with the two batteries. Um, so it's got really, really good battery life, where some of the digital SLRs may suffer um, in battery life. And uh, this, once it starts recording, it doesn't shut off. So that's pretty much that one clean. Um, so you don't want to leave any metal parts wet because you don't want any rust or corrosion coming on them. Um, other than that, that one's pretty clean. That one was already pretty clean to start with. So we're going to put him down out of the way so we can't hurt it. Uh, one of the batteries, nice little thing you can to get focus. You can see how much battery life you've got. Um, so yeah, these batteries just go for a long, long time. Um, so the Canon batteries are expensive, but they're really sort of worth it to um, use for your camera. So you've got reliable battery power. Um, battery. Alright, so we'll take a lens. Sorry about that. So this lens should be sort of quite dirty and this is the one that I think will need sort of the most cleaning. So I've got um, my uh, something that come with the um, the glasses, the Dr. Dimitri glasses. Nice and soft, um, just to clean the lens. Uh, not that this is actually the lens. This is um, it's got a protector lens on it, so you know if anything was to happen, it's not going to actually scratch the lens of the the lens of the lens. It's just going to scratch a protector, which I can just pull out and remove at any time and change over. some of the dust, give it a wipe. So this lens has been out and about. So I try and keep them kind of as clean as I can. Uh, this one here is a um, EFS. 17 to 55 lens. So this lens was purchased mainly as a, a lens to use on the big camera to walk around with because it has image stabilization. And uh, even though it's an EFS lens, um, people often refer to it as having uh, the quality of a uh, Canon L lens, but it doesn't have the build quality of it, but it has the image and picture quality of it and um, so I uh, tried this one out it's not bad it feels like it's a bit of a clunker with an old lens old technology but picture quality is quite good the 
camera's on auto at the moment. I didn't want to sort of stuff around too much with it. And DSLR that's recording now stop flashing before now it's flashing again not sure why it's flashing oh, the inside of this has a, like a velvety type thing to it wow weird didn't even notice it I'll stop flashing. Right. Right. One lens clean. So that's the one that's been out and about the most. And um so these here are my um, prime lenses. So these ones have no automatic anything at all. Um, and these ones only, they have no zoom on them. They're basically just one range. And so they're referred to as a uh, cine lens that they have gearing built into them so they have like gearing built into them so that you can use like a big knob to do like uh, slow adjustments with them so you can change iris and focus um, people might comment on the uh, build quality of these lenses um, but because Mine aren't going to be out and about too much. Um, that's not a big issue for me. You know, it's when other people start using them and they're sort of a little bit rough with them. That's when you got to be careful of your equipment. So I was always sort of taught very young when you're around equipment is to just take care of it. You know, because when stuff breaks, stuff breaks. And it's not much fun having to A, tell the owner that it's broken to replace it. Um, that was a quick, easy clean. So they have like little pouches that they go into. Uh, so the image quality of those lenses are actually very, very nice for the money. They're a broken on that was a 35mm, and this is a Rokinon 85mm, or the Sam, where is it, can you see that, Sam Young, um, same lens, just different name. So this one I haven't used much, I only used it once actually. have like a protector on them just in case I wonder if you can see there we go so that's the iris so think of like a, a spotlight a spotlight or a light you know the more open it is the more light that comes through so when you have it open 
um, it lets a lot of light in and it gives you that what's called a shallow depth of field which means everything's out of focus in the background and as you close it up you know you reduce how much light comes into the camera so for example at night time you might use that and during the day you'd close it off so any little bit of light gets in that's kind of how the cameras sort of work just a little visual representation on um, something that they talk about with cameras pieces. This here is um, my uh, charger for the Canon camera. It's always important to make sure you've got charged batteries. And it's just nice to keep everything in good condition. This is the charger for the camera that you're watching right now. And another little charger. This one's a Sony charger for the little camera, which we'll clean up in a second. Some batteries for it. Sony action camera. Give this thing a little bit of a clean on the lens. So I want to um Next time I use this, I want to mount it onto my uh, remote control car and um, take it around the track. And I uh, hope I don't scratch the lens of it. So um, I'm not too worried about the camera. The camera's going to be pretty tough. I'm not too worried about the casing. The casing's pretty tough. I just don't want to put any big scratches into the, the plastic lens cover because then it'll affect the way that it records forever. Right, so, so I guess the most important thing here is the the seal. Keep it nice and sort of moist. Not moist, but sort of clean. You don't want it to dry out. It's actually quite dirty in there. the seal because if you go underwater you don't want the uh, seal to fail How would you now right, that's pretty much that stuff done so what I'll do is I'll uh, switch over cameras and uh, continue okay so now we've uh, switched over camera so um, I'm using the the same lens um, and a uh, different camera. So this is the camera that we were shooting with first. So this one is a Canon 70D. I think what we'll do first is just give this there we go. lens, uh, the viewfinder, a bit of a clean. Just give it sort of like a nice clean and Sort of 
clean more of it. Give it a nice clean. It's actually a lot cleaner than what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be pretty sort of dirty. It took a big drop to um, the other day as well. Just there, I think there's a mark. Um, can hardly see it, but. Um, this type of stuff is generally reasonably tough, but you don't want to go testing how tough a camera is by dropping it. But yeah, this is a Canon 70D. Um, so I was very interested in this camera because it could record 30 minutes and also had a very, very nice um, autofocus feature which was very new, it had like a face detection. The, the face detection on this works better than the face detection on that. Um, you gotta use like a certain type of lens to do it. Um, but I upgraded like a, my old Canon 40D to this one, so now I've got sort of like two cameras, so if I want to do like a two camera shoot, I can uh, easily set up. So I'd like to say uh, thank you for watching this video if you're still around. Um, this is just like a, a bit of a cleaning and maintenance uh, video for you. Um, I think it's really important that if you keep your gear in good condition, it sort of holds it value and when you sort of go to use it, you sort of um, appreciate it more because it's clean and uh, you sort of take care of it. Um, you know, even if you're out and about and you're working in sort of um, difficult locations, you know, it's still important to have like a uh, a setup routine, a takedown routine, um, and, and just to sort of, you know, take care of your gear. So obviously you're not going to go to this level of cleaning when you're out and about, but you're kind of going to do something, and that goes to show how well your gear is maintained. And while I'm at it, this lens hasn't been looked at. I'll give it a clean. This is one of the dirty lenses. This is the one that gets out and about a fair bit. So this is a kit lens. It's a 18 to 135 STM lens. So the STM lenses have the quiet focusing motors. And um, the auto face detection. So right now it's following my face and it's focusing on my face. And it does a really good job but with this camera, if I move back really quickly, it takes a little while for it to focus. Or if I move in nice and close, it takes a while. Has it got focus yet? Has it got focus yet? Not quite sure. Um, but yeah, so if you move really slow, it works okay. But um, yeah, so I'll give the 
Mine's a bit more of a clean. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, check out my Dimitri Tech Mac channel if you want some other stuff. Check out the link below if you like any other cleaning stuff. But now, uh, see you later.